Hey everyone, this is Big Mike, and yes, I am back. In 2021, in March, we have so much going on, I decided, you know what, this is a perfect time to start making my review videos again. Because during COVID, we didn't have many movie theaters open, at least in my area, and you know, it, it just kind of put a damper on my spirits. But with so much coming out now in March of 2021, I decided now is the perfect time to get back into doing my review videos. And what's first up on my list? WandaVision season one. Now, if you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen the last episode, please look away because there's going to be spoilers. This is your one and only spoiler alert. So if you haven't seen it, or if you just don't care about spoilers, you can stick around or you can watch WandaVision and then come back and watch my review video. So I'm gonna be completely honest about WandaVision um, in the first few episodes. I was not really feeling it. Uh, I know a lot of people felt the same way. I know a lot of people was like, oh, give it, give it time. And yes, I knew that we just had to give it time. I knew what was going on, but I was like, I think it would have been better if Disney had gave us more than just the first two episodes the first week, because I think it would have got a lot of viewers on board faster. Because to me, yes, the sitcom aspect of like going through the 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, whatever, it was interesting and entertaining a little bit, you know, funny. However, I was just kind of sitting there like, okay, um, when are we actually going to find out what is going on? And then in episode four, we did kind of find out what was going on, you know, when S.W.O.R.D. showed up and we're like, okay, now we're getting somewhere. So once that started, I really started to enjoy the show. I like when Marvel Studios starts to unravel the story, you get the bigger picture, and then you see how this connects to everything else. Because as we know, WandaVision is connecting right or going right into uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which I am very excited for. So we got a lot of reveals in this. Um, Vision. Okay. We were like, okay, how did Vision come back? Okay. So that wasn't kind of revealed until uh, I think episode eight, uh, the previous episode from last week. And I mean, we finally got the Scarlet Witch from the comics with the ultra powerful uh, reality warping powers because a lot of people who weren't introduced to Scarlet Witch in the comic books they were just like okay she's kind of strong but what really is her powers like so and also I like how they explain that did she or did she not like stop the Stark bomb that that broke into that uh, you know was launched into her and the, her family's house and it just didn't go off I believe that what they were trying to do there is show that, hey, Wanda is perhaps a mutant because we know that Disney finally bought uh, 20th Century Fox and they're gonna start bringing in mutants, Fantastic Four, things like that that were the Fox properties before, before Disney uh, bought them out. So it was a lot, a lot of reveals in this. You see, okay, well, Wanda may have had powers before and the Mind Stone just basically amplified those powers. So it gave her a wider range of abilities or that she already had. Now, as we go further along in the story, after Wanda, you know, cre she, we find out she created this whole reality in Westview and that she's controlling all of these people, right? And it's against their will, which is kind of messed up if you think about it. Um, so she created that. She, she actually had, her and Vision had twin boys who we know in the comics are Speed and Wiccan. Um, and so it, it was a lot, a lot, a lot revealed in WandaVision. And it was very fun to see all of this unravel. Now, that being said, oh my God, oh my God, so much. So I like how they kind of, it was a little disappointing, but I found it funny. Like if you watch the final episode, how you had all this build up, there was a little letdown. Cause I know the director earlier this week, uh, he had an interview saying like, I think people who had all these speculations, because I had a ton of them, were like, okay, um, you're going to be a little disappointed <laughs> once you actually see what really happens. I wouldn't say I was necessarily disappointed, but I like the kind of cliffhanger aspect to where we're, we have to watch more of the content later to come to see how the story really unfolds. Because we know that uh, Wanda's children and also Vision, the her vision that she created um, as she created this whole reality in Re Westview was, you know, they could only survive inside of her hex. So as we saw in the last episode, um, when she was retracting the hex, 
uh, her, the vision she created um, and also her boys were were gone. <laughs> so we're going to see in Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness, which I wanted to see a cameo of Doctor Strange, actually, because I really thought that was going to happen, especially in the post credit scene where she goes in the back. And I thought as they were going into the back room that we were going to see Doctor Strange, you know, doing his whole thing and he was going to walk out through a portal. However, we saw Wanda reading the Darkhold. So it was a lot of reveals. Um, I really I really did enjoy uh, WandaVision. I, I, I'm, I'm refraining from saying season one because Kevin Feige, of course, said there's no plans right now for his season two. However, anything's in the cards. You know, it, it's all about, it's, a, it's still a business at the end of the day. And if this thing is super popular, like it has been, <laughs> and it's been like killing it with numbers, um, we know that possibly people want to see more. Because also we got Spectral Vision. And so when we got Spectral Vision, and his prime directive, as he said, was just to take out Vision. And the Vision that Wanda created was like, hey, I'm not really Vision if you think about it. And he was like, you know, can I show you? So he actually was able to bring back Spectral Vision's memories. And he, at that point, just took off. So now we're going to see, okay, what happens with Spectral Vision? Um, also, as I mentioned before, when Wanda's, um, you know astral form like we saw in Doctor Strange and Multiverse I mean in the first Doctor Strange movie when he would go into astral form and read books as he was sleeping well as she was doing other things like making tea uh, her astral form was actually reading the dark hold which is scary and intriguing all at the same time <laughs> so you know there's lots to come in Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness I can't wait to see where this is going to go in the future that being said um I would give WandaVision season one, maybe just WandaVision series. Um, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. Um, I know that sounds a little low. That's just because of the first few episodes. Honestly, in my opinion, I know a lot of people did like them. In my opinion, I just was like, okay, I want to see what's going on. But after it got going, um, I really enjoyed the rest of the, what, six episodes after that. So I'll give it about a 7.5. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications for all my latest content. And once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.